Hello everybody, my name is Chanel and welcome to my YouTube channel, Combos and Moments with Chanel. If you like this channel, I hope you do, please subscribe, like a video. If you don't, just leave your feedback as long as we're all respectful, I don't mind. Anyway, let me put my TV on mute. I'm just in my bed relaxing. But I just like really had to ask like, does God have an Instagram or a Facebook because the way some people just go in, I just do not understand their mentality of what they're trying to accomplish or what they're trying to see. Social media is a wonderful platform, yes, to get attention sometimes, but it just depends what type of attention you're going to get. Sometimes when things are brought on social media, it can get attention where it can help people financially, career rise. It can really help, but I just don't understand some of the things people go on social media for attention and do. Like, I literally just watched a woman pray for her husband and the mistress over social media. Like, really praying to God to, like, deliver him from, you know, this act that he's committed and also the mistress. And it's like, I understand where she's coming from, but it's just her approach. Like, at the end of the day, you should be trying to have a sit down with your husband. And you know what? Maybe she did have a sit down with her husband. And it's like, maybe you need to give it up. I understand when you take vows, it's supposed to be for better or worse. But I think some people just really abuse those vows. And I think a lot of times, a lot of women and even men, their souls are just being damaged and not tended to by their partner because they know that they're abusing their partner and their partner is experiencing discomfort or embarrassment. And it's like they just keep on doing the same thing, whether it be cheating, hitting, whatever the case may be. And it's just like she was praying and it's like, just pray to God privately. Like if you want to pray for others, fine, so be it. But I just don't understand what she was really gaining. Maybe she was trying to bring attention to it because we also live in a world today where if, um, the guy or girl, both sex cheat, when sometimes it's brought on social media that they're cheating, sometimes they will get consolence from fans or other people and they will kind of get bashed. Kind of like the thing with um, Chloe and Tristan. Like when people found out Tristan had cheated on Chloe and she just had his baby, a lot of people were like really bashing him, attacking his page. So sometimes it can have um, effects where it makes people really think like, wow, you're doing something crazy. We all don't agree with it and we're going to make you feel bad for it. So social media does has its power in that way. But I just don't understand why she was just coming on social media and just praying to God. And it's like publicly, like just do that personally and privately. I don't know. That's why I just had to ask the question. Does God really have a Facebook or an Instagram? Because the way some people just go in, it's just like, are you really seeking to speak to God or are you seeking attention? And it really seems like the scenario or the situation could really be real. This is, you know, some high profile people. So maybe he is cheating. She really is hurt and she's just trying to pray publicly. But I just think she could have brought it against herself in a different way. But to each his own. I just, it's like in life, you just say to yourself, just when you think you've seen it all on social media, it's just like somebody just does something else that just shocks the heck out of you like social media just never ceases to amaze you like you just see meltdowns breakups fights <laughs> prayers to god you just see it all on social media like social media is a very big playing field of feelings emotions and just a whole bunch of drama but what can you do? That's the generation we live in. But I just wanted to make a short video on, like, does God really have an Instagram or a Facebook? Because the way people just go in, you would think that he has one. And, like, he's supposedly hearing stuff from these social media pages. But anyway, 
what's your opinion on things? Like, do you think people really try to do certain videos and stuff for attention or are they seeking help maybe from outside people? Because you have to look at it that way too. A lot of times with these high profile people, even just, you know, like regular people like us, you have to think most of the times when we have problems, we probably try to reach out to the person that we're having a problem with or whatever. But sometimes it's just not working with the one on one or the small circle of people. So maybe sometimes you have to do it on a grander scale and get, you know, maybe the public involved to get different results because that has happened too. when you talk to a person one on one like, oh, you didn't pay me back my money. When do you think I can get it? And it's like the person probably ignores you or whatever. But then if you go on Instagram and you be like, oh, let me tag this person and you tag them and you say, oh, it's kind of funny that you still didn't pay me back my money, but you want to be on the gram or YouTube or whatever, flossing in your new clothes. And, you know, some people have gotten a reaction and people have got paid back through that tactic. But um, I just I don't know. I'm just a person like I really try not to. Like, obviously, I have a YouTube channel, and I'm talking about things going on in my life and my feelings and stuff, but as far as me, like, going on social media and, like, just ranting and going crazy and having a meltdown, I just thank God that I've never been brought to that point, and I never want to be brought to that point, but... Anyway, that was just my short video on, like, just a funny question. Does God have a Facebook or Instagram? Because the way some people really go in, like, you would think that he has an account. But anyway, that's just my opinion and just a little rant I was doing. Let me know your input. Maybe you had a meltdown or maybe you had a rant that was, like, super crazy and it was geared towards a prayer towards God and it was on social media or maybe you done something extra crazy on social media that you wish you could take back. You could share your experience because I understand everybody is different. Everybody reacts and does things on different terms. I'm just saying for me personally, I just cannot have a meltdown or just put everybody in like some crazy business that's really intended for my close circle of people, which is really my close friend from school, my mother and my stepfather. But to each his own, I'm not trying to play anybody. I'm just saying personally, I can't do it. I'm glad I never went that route. And that's about it. But anyway, thank you for visiting my channel. Convos and moments with Chanel. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.